Solomon Ash and the Line Experiment. In 1951, Solomon Ash carried out his influential study on conformity, investigating the level to which people were prepared to adjust responses in line with a majority group decision, despite knowing the truth be contrary. Ash conducted a laboratory experiment with an independent group design. An independent group design is one in which multiple experimental groups are used yet participants are only exposed to one condition of the independent variable during the experiment. Participants were placed into groups of eight, however, only one of the group members were genuine participants of the study. The other seven were confederates or people working alongside the researcher. Participants were required to judge the length of lines by saying aloud which comparison line, one, two, or three, matched the standard line. The genuine participant would always be asked to respond either last or second to last, thus allowing for the confederates' answers to have been heard. Each participant did a total of 18 trials. For 12 of these trials, the critical trials, the confederates all gave the same incorrect response. There was also a control group in which the participants judged the line length in isolation. So what do you think the results of the study were? It's a simple task, right? Choose the line that matches the control line. Well, yes and no. During the control group experiment, where participants judged in isolation, participants gave the wrong answer 0.7% of the time, thus supporting the premise that the task itself is not at all difficult. However, during the critical trials, participants conformed to the majority, giving the wrong answer 37% of the time. 75% conformed on at least one occasion. When questioned afterwards, some participants said that they didn't really believe their answer, but didn't want to stand out and look different. Wanting to look normal means that these participants conformed due to normative social influence. By conducting a laboratory experiment, Ash had good control of the variables, which minimized the effects of extraneous variables and also allows the study to be easily replicated. The study lacks ecological validity as participants were not in a naturally occurring situation. From an ethical standpoint, participants were deceived, which may have led to them feeling embarrassed.